Hi, I'm Derek Partridge, and I owe my life to the actor Leslie Howard. Sixty-five years ago, on June the 1st, 1943, I was seven years old and strapped into my seat on Flight 777, waiting to take off from Lisbon, Portugal, to Bristol, England. At the last minute, a VIP arrived, needing to get back to the UK as soon as possible. As I was the most junior and unimportant member on the passenger manifest, I and my adult companion, Dora Rowe from Bolton, Lancashire, were taken off, so that the renowned British actor Leslie Howard, who's probably best known for playing Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, and his manager, Alfred Chenholz, could take our seats. Three hours later, while flying over the Bay of Biscay, the Dakota DC-3 was shot down by a squadron of Luftwaffe Ju-88s with the loss of all aboard. Now, here's your host, former Financial News Network anchor, Derek Partridge. Welcome to our program. What you are about to see and hear is information that could literally transform your financial future. We will be revealing current economic and market conditions in the U.S. and around the world that many investment advisors, maybe even your own broker, would prefer that we do not divulge. However, what cannot be concealed is the fact that more and more of the world's wealthiest, most successful investors have quietly taken positions in a precious metal that many feel offers a rare, even life-changing opportunity. That investment is silver. This machine transforms this load of garbage and hundreds of other toxic materials into this, which is totally safe, it's non-toxic, it's non-hazardous and non-leachable, and it can be disposed of without fear of polluting your soil or water. The loans sold to the American public were very profitable for J.P. Morgan and Dylan Reed. They were sold through a very lucrative process known as step-up pricing. The question then becomes, is Germany taking this matter seriously? To which the article says, it is hardly surprising that American lawyers are now sniffing a huge multi-billion dollar windfall. But for Germany, the proceedings could pose a grave danger. When Schwaller first arrived at Luxor, his goal was simple and direct. Look for the evidence of the knowledge of the golden section and its use in the ancient sacred architecture. In this trial, children undergoing outpatient inguinal hernia rothi were randomized to receive placebo or 0.5% chirocaine, 0.25 milliliters per kilogram for each side operated to achieve ileoinguinal, iliohypogastric block during surgery. And joining us now in the studio, apart from my friend Gringo here, are the Botsy family. That's Katya, Catania, and Eric. And they run the Star Echo Station in Culver City. <laughs> Hello. Um, this is just one of the many animals they look after. How has one young woman paralyzed the presidency? In the next 60 minutes, we'll find out in the first ever look at what really went on behind the scenes in the Oval Office. I've had a good look at the Los Angeles River today, and although there's been excellent remedial action on many parts, there are still many areas in desperate need of renovation. It needs the friends of the Los Angeles River, and they need your help. I'm Derek Partridge, and tonight we're going to take a look at power. Now, what is power? Some people would say it's the ability to get things done. On a different level from the guardian angels are the nature beings, divas, elementals, and nature spirits who tend to the process of life here on Earth. The now classic story of the Findhorn community in Scotland brings us to an understanding of how to communicate with this kingdom in a way which may help us create a more sustainable relationship with our own environment. Klaus Stevenson is responsible for the Granger's business management in this area. The company has a strong entrepreneurial tradition, which has undoubtedly contributed to the success of its current operations. I was a news anchor and writer at FNN, the financial news network. We did 14 consecutive half-hour newscasts every day. And in between writing and anchoring, I also did interviews. Here now is Sky Television News. I'm Vivian Krieger. And I'm Derek Partridge. I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Golf Video Magazine and the great golf courses of the world. In this edition, we'll focus our attention on Southern California and its showcase courses. Let's go over to the set. 
You might be surprised to learn that Ginsu manufactures knives for some cutlery companies with some very well-known names. Ori, if you don't mind, I'd like to demonstrate something for Rick. Let me play devil's advocate now, not as if I was an injured party, but as if I was an insurance company. How would I deal with you, Ward, if you were an attorney with a track record established? As a journalist, it is my profession to get the facts and report them accurately. Benvenuti a bordo del Boeing 747 all'Italia, dove è in corso un test sul sistema di video individuali AirVision. Come on, Bill, constate, la video è un des moyens utilisés dans ce but par la société. Ainsi, je suis ici pour poser des questions auxquelles vous voulez des réponses. Jawohl, ich werde mich mit ihm allerdings kurz in meinem Büro treffen. Aufgrund einer sorgfältigen Planung kann er hier zu mir nach England kommen. Wenn es wieder Ihr Essen in Ruhe, dann kommen Sie in einer halben Stunde in meinem Büro an. A nuestros invitados de España, os deseamos una agradable bienvenida. And to our guests from South Africa, we hope that you have a really lecker evening. Oh, there you are. Now then, if you wanted to improve your technical knowledge about cars, you talk to a mechanic. And if you were smart, you would go and find the very best mechanic available. Hello, hello. Welcome to our little leadership masterclass, mein Liebchen. If you want to improve your leadership skills, this is the place to be. I've saved the best for last. This segment from TV's Bloopers and Practical Jokes features the delightful Ned Beatty as my unsuspecting victim. And I promise you a good laugh. Thanks for watching. Now this is the sound stage where our interview will take place. Now you'll notice that the palm trees and the ocean blue backdrop there are being set up. That's because Ned's been told that this particular interview is going to be broadcast to the Cabot Islands, a chain of islands off the coast of Australia. Well, they don't exist, by the way. We made them up. Now there's Ned in the jacket and tie accompanied by our two accomplices. He's now going to meet our phony BBC interviewer, Derek Partridge. Now you can see Ned looking around at the uh, South Sea Islands props. He has no idea what's in store for him. I usually don't use any. You don't? Now these are the accomplices looking on. Okay, let's go. Speedy, you've been in some... Darn it. Cut. Hold tape ring. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I do this so many times I forgot to brief on a couple of rather unusual things. Uh, the audience we are aiming this program at is not terribly sophisticated. Right. It's an island audience, and they use certain rather, to our minds, exaggerated hand gestures in their language. And we've had to adapt and modify some of these gestures in our television presentation. Now, the first thing which they do, the island is where brightly colored headscarves, which are rather like, you know, our use of a hat. Right. And when they greet each other, they take the scarf off and they just wave it. It's like our thing about shaking hands, they just wave a little headscarf. When we start, if you just like to just wave that brief at the camera, the it's just a sign of friendship. Right. Then, there's a couple of other things. When there's something that they really like, they just do this with the hand. Just a very simple gesture to the right with the right hand. Okay. Now, you also might be familiar with... Uh, Throughout the Pacific, the curry shell is used as currency. Mm. Okay. Now, when there's something they very, very strongly disagree with, they use their curry shells, not as large as these, we have to exaggerate them for television, mm. and they just do like this. So if it's something that you very strongly disagree with, we have to use these kind of visual images to help them, because okay. English is their second language. Mm. So if you'd like to okay. keep those in your left hand... Mm -hmm. and this is for disagreeing. This is for strong disagreement. Okay. Agreement is just... Sort of, sort of, I guess we call it a What happens gesture. if you do this and this at the same time? It means you strongly disagree with the fact that you're working with them. I see. confuse them totally. <laughs> and we're having a hard enough time dragging them into the 20th century. All right. Rick, you ready? Yes, we're rolling tape now. Okay. All right, Mr. Ray, if you just like to speak. greet our viewers just by yeah. just a brief little wave with that. That's fine. <laughs> so, you've been in so many movies and so many television projects. Which are your favorite projects that you can remember, you really have good memories about? Two of my favorites are, are, are children's shows, actually, I guess that you could say. Uh, one was an ABC uh, afternoon special that I was in called Little Henry and the Polka Dot Kid. Not many people remember it, but it won an Emmy. Oh, I'm sorry, that's one thing. Our open hand gesture is something which to them I'm afraid is a little bit rude, so that's something we must try to avoid. Okay, sorry about that. Don't worry, we'll just keep the tape running, we'll edit that one out. Okay. Um, how about Superman and Pompeii? What sort of memories do you have from them? Uh, Superman and Pompeii? Are they uh, fun? 
They were <laughs> Jesse and Milk Fun? Oh dear. No, I just... Uh, Superman was a great deal of fun, and, and Last Day of Pompeii were a great deal of fun because we were filming in England, and I, uh, I found that I enjoyed being in England a great deal. Uh, uh, when you enjoy something a great deal, that's when you do that with the head. Oh, uh, something that's using. <laughs> I enjoyed uh, both of you. Did you ever think of doing anything else other than acting? Yeah, I love things that happen right now. Careful. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yes. No, it's just going to be... You can't keep that away. I understand, but... I disapprove of, of what I did. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I understand what you're saying. No, if you disapprove, it's, it's not. Well, that's fine. That's that, 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 everything. Right. How about politics? Have you ever thought of going into politics? No, I haven't really ever thought about going then, into politics. Then you have to indicate no. Oh, yes. Right. With, perfect with both hands. Oh, both hands. Yes. Yeah. Do just, it just together. That's it. That's right. You mentioned that. Remember, Ned's children. been told that several like BBC this. reporters wanted to interview him. Watch this. Hi, Ned. Rick, cut taking that. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? You just walked into the middle of an interview. Interview? Well, I'm here to do an interview. Uh, uh, sorry. BBC? Yes. Can't you see? We have cameras. Mr. Bailey's in the middle of an interview. Well, I... You guys go right ahead, huh? I'm sorry, 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 I'm sor